is definitely my favorite guitar effect. But making it fade in perfectly into the background is not that easy. It usually requires a little bit of reverb. Finding the right combination of delays and reverbs is time consuming. But this new pedal, the Delver by Universal Audio, changes that. What's up guys it's me joey and i hope you liked that little jam if you did make sure to like and subscribe i'm building this channel right now and every like and every subscription actually helps the channel grow so the topic of today's video is not a gear review this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form this is me talking to you about sounds that inspire me to play more so for those of you who have been following me a little bit longer, maybe on Instagram, because that is currently my biggest channel, I'm using delays a lot in my soloing to make it more interesting and to make it sound a little bit broader, a little bit deeper, and to spread out the overall signal. And here's what I'm not doing. I never just use a single delay and that's it. Because I always feel like, and leave a comment in the description if you feel the same, Whenever I just use a delay without anything else, it just sounds plastered. So the repetitions of the delays are just uh, sounding very, very like prominent and they interfere a lot with the original signal. And then you can't really hear what I'm playing in the original signal and it's all just confusing. Instead, what I'm doing is I'm often pairing one delay or multiple delays with some reverbs, meaning I put delays into reverbs because then the repeats just reverberate. Is that a word? So the repeats become less and less prominent. They just fill up the background and there is something happening behind the original signal that makes it sound broader, but it's not actually repeating the exact same thing that I'm playing. It just washes into the background very, very nicely. And that's what makes my guitar sound just a little bit bigger. And usually this would mean I have to chain a couple pedals together, right? But not with the Stelver by Universal Audio because it has delay and reverb in it. And not only does it have delay and reverb, it also combines some absolute studio classics. And you guys know I am a writer. All the stuff that I'm putting out here on YouTube is my own stuff. It's original music. It's something that I come up with, yeah, on a pretty much daily basis. And that means I'm working a lot with Logic, plugins and these plugins are usually recreations of studio classics and a couple of these studio classics i have in here so for instance paul 224 on the right side that is pretty much a lexicon 224 and that is one of the most frequently used vocal reverbs ever and for example the same goes for the tape ep3 on the delay side which is pretty much an echoplex and that is Another emulation that gets used in the studio all the time.
So I really feel like this pedal is for people like me because it combines delays and reverbs, which I'm always really fond of. And it also has studio classics inside that I would use in the DAW anyway when I'm mixing my own songs. So um, this is pretty cool. Comes in so handy because now I can just use a plate or a hall or just like a spring reverb and use it with my delay. Something I would do anyway after recording um, in the DAW. Plus, can we talk about something that is rarely talked about in the guitar world? Uh, full disclosure, my professional background is a marketing background. This is just designed amazingly. I have rarely seen a pedal that looks as good as this one. It's perfect. The color combination is perfect. It has the right weight. Um, you can do all sorts of things with that. I would go out on a limb here and say this is the best looking pedal in a long time. I'm actually struggling to think of another pedal that looks that good, to be honest. And then another absolute perfect thing for me as a player, it is stereo. And I'm using stereo delays all the time. In fact, all the stuff you hear, either on YouTube or Instagram, it's recorded stereo. I am only using stereo stuff for my guitar because all my time-based effects are in stereo. And to me, that sounds a lot better than mono stuff. So that's what I'm doing. So having a stereo effect in a pedal that can be a tape echo, an analog delay, a precision delay, a spring reverb, a plate 140, or a hall effect, um, and we can combine all these things and make them sound huge, it's pretty cool. And that to me is amazing because that just makes me want to play more, which is to me the exact reason why you should get another effect. And you know, guys, I'm not the biggest gearhead. I'm not the kind of guy who splits hairs over a Tube Screamer and a Tube Screamer clone and another Tube Screamer clone and a Digitech Bad Monkey. That's not me. I usually just use what works. I just had to admit it's cool looking, it's inspiring, it sounds amazing, it is stereo. So... There really wasn't any reason not to try this one out. So I guess that's it. I promise you it wouldn't be a gear review and I hope it wasn't. I guess I'm now back to playing guitar. I need to try out more sounds with this. See ya. See ya. See ya. Bye bye.